In my presentation, I will be discussing frequency filtering. The primary function of frequency filtering is noise attenuation using Fourier analysis. It is one of the components of signal processing that turns bad raw signal obtained from muscle and nerve recordings into good useful signal that can be compared and interpreted. Therefore, frequency filters are important for providing cleaner signals. There are four main types of filters. Low pass filters cut off high frequency noise. High pass filters conversely cut off low frequency noise. Band pass filters are the most common type of filters used. They have upper and lower limit cutoff points. And finally, there are notch filters that remove particular frequencies from the signals. For example, they remove the 50 and 60 Hz mains interference that can be experienced when making muscle and nerve recordings. They are rarely used as they can distort the signal of interest and have been superseded by differential amplifiers. I will now take a look at common noise sources associated with raw signals. There are three common no noise sources. Inherent noise, noises which are within electrical equipment, can be redu reduced by using higher quality electronic components. Ambient noises originate from any source of electro electromagnetic radiation. This includes electrical equipment that admits this radiation. It also includes light bulbs and fluorescent lamps. The dominant source of ambient noise is 60 or 50 hertz radi radiation from power sources. Ambient noise can be up to three orders of magnitude above the signal measured. Motion artifacts. Motion artifacts can also generate an unwanted signal. This can be due to the electrode and skin contact, a phenomenon known as impedance, or wire movement. Both impedance and wire movement are in the region of 0 to 20 Hz. In a slightly subtler way, mo motion artifacts can be caused by a patient moving during a recording. Now, I will quickly mention the advantages and disadvantages of analog and digital filters. Hardware filters are analog electronic circuits that use inductors, resistors, capacitors and amplifiers. It is possible to change the components to customise filter performance to very specific needs. However, the quality of these components are limited by component tolerance and power tolerance. Software filters are digital filters that use mathematical algorithms to attenuate signals. On average, digital filters are much better at attenuation and selectivity. However, accuracy, accuracy is lost by digitizing a signal from its analog component. And digital filters also cost far more than their analog counterpart. This is the end of my presentation. All videos and images were created by Esther Doe.